we have some breaking news to share with you. In a recent interview, global music sensation Justin Bieber opened up about his severe addiction struggles. In this explainer video, we'll dive deeper into Bieber's revelations, shedding light on his journey towards recovery and raising awareness about addiction. So, let's get started. Before we dive into the details, let's briefly discuss addiction. Addiction is a complex condition that affects millions of people worldwide. It involves the inability to control or stop engaging in a harmful behavior, despite the negative consequences it may have on one's life. In his youth, Bieber seemingly launched overnight from an unknown teen in Canada with a YouTube channel to an international pop star. He's previously opened up about what an overwhelming transition it was for a 13-year-old. Justin Bieber opens up about his health and past drug use in a new episode of his YouTube documentary series Seasons. Episode 5, appropriately titled The Dark Season, finds the 25-year-old talking about his decision to get sober. He began depending on marijuana heavily and later got involved with alcohol, lean, a mixture of codeine cough syrup, soda and hard candy, taking pills, MDMA, psychedelic mushrooms, everything. Bieber eventually decided he wanted to get sober when he felt like I was dying. Turning point, but every story has its turning point. And for Justin, that moment came when he realized he couldn't continue down that destructive path. He sought help, surrounded himself with positive influences, and committed himself to a journey of recovery. We'll explore the steps he took to regain control of his life. Millions of fans were saying how much they loved me and how great I was, he wrote in an Instagram post last September. You hear these things enough as a young boy and you actually start believing it. So by this point I was 18 with no skills in the real world, with millions of dollars and access to whatever I wanted. This is a very scary concept for anyone. I started getting really dependent on it, he recalls. I don't think it's bad. Just for me, it can be a dependency. Bieber has admitted to doing pretty heavy drugs in the past, and he gets much more specific in his documentary. There was a time when I was sipping lean. I was popping pills. I was doing Molly, MDMA, shrooms, everything, Bieber explains. It was just an escape for me. I was just young. Like everybody in the industry and people in the world who experiment and who do normal growing up things. But my experience was in front of cameras and I had a different level of exposure. Bieber's close friend and business partner, Ryan Good, admits he was really concerned when the singer was drinking lean. Lean, also known as purple drank or scissor, is a mixture of a prescription cough medicine with codeine, soda, and typically hard fruit flavored candy. While Justin says he started valuing the wrong things, his wife has a theory. I think when you take somebody very, very young and they start to get horrible, crazy, crippling anxiety and it goes undiagnosed, you start to self-medicate because it makes you feel better," Haley Bieber tells the camera. The model says she wasn't really in Justin's life until he chose to get sober and was trying to come off of the drugs. My security and stuff would come into my room at night to check my pulse. People don't know how serious it got, he shares. It was legit crazy scary. I was waking up in the morning, and the first thing I was doing was popping pills and smoking a blunt and starting my day. So it just got scary. Justin continues, I basically said to myself, God, if you're real, you get me through this season of stopping these pills and stuff, and if you do, I'll do the rest of the work. I never did the actual work. I got off the pills, but I never went to the root of everything. So then I kind of circled back around, which most people do. The singer's brain health doctor is featured in the episode and recalls meeting Justin for the first time in September 2014. He was a wreck, Dr. Daniel Amen says. He had recently stopped using drugs, he was anxious, overwhelmed, not sleeping. Amen reveals that before he started working with Justin, the singer was misdiagnosed with bipolar disorder and given lithium. When I looked at his brain he wasn't bipolar, he maintains. He's taking antidepressants which the singer says helped me get out of bed in the morning. I think he's not only healthier than he's ever been, but on the road to maintaining a healthier life than he's ever had," Haley declares. Sometimes when life throws you things that you can't control, you know, naturally our attitude is to be upset or to be disappointed or discouraged," Bieber concludes. 
It might not seem that hard to some people to just get out of bed in the morning, but it's been really hard for me to just get out of my bed. I know a lot of people feel that same way, so I just also want to say you're not there alone in that. There's people that are going through it with you. Life is worth living, and if you're not going to give up then the only thing to do is push forward. The documentary series, a YouTube Originals production, premiered last month and was announced, along with Bieber's upcoming album changes, to further explain the singer's health issues, among other topics. Earlier in January, Bieber revealed he was diagnosed with Lyme disease and had a serious case of chronic mono. Since the last time we heard new tunes from Bieber, he's gotten married and become transparent about battling mental illness in the public eye and learning from his errors. Bieber reflected on why he became hooked on drugs. He said that he didn't grow up in a secure household, so he began valuing the wrong things in this business in an endless pursuit to find happiness. Subsequently, his addiction reached the point where he would start his day popping pills and smoking a blunt. As humans, we are imperfect, Bieber said in a video announcing his new professional chapter. My past, my mistakes, all the things that I've been through. I believe that I'm right where I'm supposed to be and God has me right where he wants me. We all have different stories. I'm just excited to share mine. So this was our today's video. I hope you all like it. Don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends and family. We will be back soon with a new video. Till then keep supporting and take care.